Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. In 2008, pop singer Britney Spears was placed under a conservatorship. The legal arrangement gives control of a person's affairs, including their finances and communications, to another person or a group of people. Her conservatorship later received attention for its strict terms and alleged abuses. An L.A. County judge ultimately ended Spears' arrangement in November 2021, but not before a bipartisan bill was introduced in Congress to reform the conservatorship system. It's called the FREE Act, or the Freedom and Right to Emancipate from Exploitation Act. It was introduced by Florida Democratic Representative Charlie Crist and South Carolina Republican Representative Nancy Mace. The bill would require anybody under a conservatorship to have an independent caseworker assigned who can keep an eye out for potential abuse. The bill would also appropriate $160 million in federal grants for states to hire such caseworkers. The bill would also mandate that all states submit an annual report so we could finally tally an exact number of conservatorships in the country and find out whether it's increasing, decreasing, or staying roughly level over time. Lastly, the bill would also require both conservators and caseworkers to disclose their finances to prevent conflicts of interest with the person under their responsibility. But who wants to hear me talk about this bill? Here's a musical summary instead, to the tune of Britney Spears' number one song from 1999, Baby One More Time. The legal system seems to have failed Britney Spears. Some politicians react, some Congress members feel the system should switch gears. So they've introduced the FREE Act. They say reform's coming your way to prevent against fraud and abuse. Oh, because conservators should prove that they do not engage in foul play. Bill number HR 4545, if it doesn't pass, they'll introduce it one more time. 